Did you know that in addition to producing food, your agricultural lands can also be a source of energy for your heating and cooling needs? Geothermal systems take advantage of the constant temperature of the earth six feet or so below the surface to create the most energy efficient, environmentally clean, and cost-effective space conditioning systems available today. Geothermal systems utilize heat pumps that transfer thermal energy between an indoor space and the ground. Many buildings already use heat pumps as part of heating and cooling, but with a key difference. The thermal energy is exchanged between a building and the air outside. Both systems pull heat out of your house in the summer, keeping the interior cooler, and do the exact opposite in the winter by pulling heat from the air outside to help warm a building. When sourcing from the ground with geothermal systems, the systems work at much higher efficiency even in extremely cold climates. This is because a ground source heat pump takes advantage of the moderate temperatures in the ground to boost efficiency and reduce the operational costs of heating and cooling systems. The temperature in the ground below 6 feet is roughly stable year-round at about 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Ground source heat pumps transfer thermal energy from a building into the ground during summer to cool indoor temperatures. In winter, it reverses the process by transferring thermal energy from the ground to the building to heat the space. You may have heard of this technology referred to by other names, such as geothermal heat pump, ground-coupled heat exchange, geo-exchange, earth coupling, or earth energy systems. In summer, the ground source heat pump transfers heat from buildings into the ground by circulating a fluid in pipes buried in the ground. When sourcing from the air, the compressor in the heat pump would be required to work harder to induce the transfer of thermal energy. But since the temps below 6 feet are cool already, less energy needs to be spent to run the compressor. In the winter, when 50 degrees Fahrenheit is warmer than air temperatures, the ground source heat pump transfers heat from the ground into the buildings in heating mode. The earth is a good source of heat during the winter months. Since the temperature is already 50 degrees Fahrenheit, less energy is needed to create comfortable temperatures. Let's look a bit closer at these systems. Ground source heat pumps transfer heat to and from the ground through closed loops of plastic pipes buried either horizontally or vertically in the ground below the frost line, where the temperature is consistently around 50 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on where you live. Called ground loops, the pipes are sealed tight and connected to the geothermal heating and cooling system inside the building. Water or heat transfer fluid circulates through the underground pipes of the ground loop. If you have large open areas on your farm, a horizontal ground loop is probably right for you. A horizontal ground loop is installed over a wide area of ground and requires enough space to dig trenches hundreds of feet long and 6 to 10 feet deep. Horizontal ground loops can only be used when adequate space is available and trenches are easy to dig. Here, plastic looping pipes form the geothermal heat exchanger system. Compared with the vertical loop, a horizontal system is usually the more cost-effective because it requires trenching rather than drilling. A vertical ground loop is installed in one or more boreholes about 200 to 500 feet deep in the ground. Each hole is 5 to 6 inches in diameter, and if you have more than one, they're about 20 feet apart. This configuration is ideal for farms where open space is limited, when rock formations are very close to the surface, or where minimum disruption of the landscaping is desired. Vertical loops are generally more expensive to install, but require less piping and less land area than horizontal loops. Let's look at how geothermal heat could be used on your farm. In greenhouse operations, temperature control can be one of the most expensive costs to growers. Energy costs can be greatly reduced by using ground source heat pumps. In most areas of the country, it offers a reasonable payback, typically 10 years or less, depending on the system design and the cost of the fossil fuel replaced. There are energy conservation measures with shorter payback periods. If you do those first, they will reduce the size of the geothermal heating system needed for a greenhouse. 
check out other Energy Answers videos that cover these topics. Another way geothermal heating can be used on a farm is to heat animal buildings, such as wean to finishing pig buildings. A ground source heat pump system can reduce energy consumption and utility cost. Despite the high initial installation cost, livestock producers will benefit in the long term with lower operational costs. Overall, the benefits of geothermal heat pumps include a low maintenance system that is both quiet and has a long lifespan, significant cost cutting by reducing energy use by 40 to 70 percent, an environmentally friendly system since the heat pump is extracting or releasing heat from or to the ground, it has no environmental impact. It has been reported by EPA that ground source heat pump systems are the most energy efficient, environmentally clean, and most cost effective space conditioning systems available.